Finally tonight, it's Father's Day, a day for cards and gifts, including one item of apparel that for a long time was overlooked. Here's Don Daler on a sock surge. Vincent Nasservag left a career on Wall Street to open the Sock Hop men's apparel store in downtown Manhattan four years ago, right about the time colorful socks became cool. His store features hundreds of pairs of high-end hosiery. Were you surprised that you were kind of at the beginning of the trend? We could see it kind of start creeping up and then sure enough you see guys that are really into fashion wearing socks and then it turns into guys that are more business types wearing socks and now it's everybody. Socks have come a long way from the Stone Age when they were made from animal skins. This pair made of wool are the oldest known surviving socks dating back to Egypt in the 4th century. By 1000 AD they became a status symbol. Production increased with the advent of the knitting machine in 1589 and again with nylon in 1938. Men's socks are now the fastest growing sector of men's apparel. Sales have soared 14% in just one year. High-end dress and athletic socks have combined to create a $2.8 billion industry. A cashmere pair at J. Crew runs 80 bucks. Barney's Elder Statesman will set you back 350. And at Harry's of London, a pair made from New Zealand red deer will warm your toes for a mere $1,500. In a more casual era, the tie disappears, and so there's this opening for uh, another kind of expression of personality in an otherwise humdrum wardrobe. Troy Patterson writes the Gentleman Scholar column for Slate.com. The tie is there's no sort of like tactile pleasure in it, right? It's just a thing that's around your neck. It doesn't touch your body. It's sort of like you're, it's, what is more wonderful like on a cold winter day than to have some like a nice rich merino wool against your feet? There seems to be no limit to the prints and patterns that are peeking out from cuffs. I see polka dots, I see stripes, I see pretty much any color that you can imagine. Yeah, I think after we've broken down the wall of just navy and black, we can go all sorts of designs, all sorts of colors, because it doesn't really have to match anything. Even the first dad, President Obama, received a pair from his predecessor last July. George H.W. Bush jumped into the trend with both feet long before crazy socks were popular. Don Daler, CBS News, New York.